Hi everyone, my name is Adele. I guess you can see it from here. And I believe match day this year, I should consider myself as one of the luckiest IMG applicants because not only did I match into ophthalmology, which is my favorite specialty in medicine, but also I will be going to UCLA for my internship and UC San Diego for my ophthalmology residency. And I guess I couldn't ask for anything more. And today I would like to share my journey with you. Well, like many other IMG applicants, I came to this country not knowing anything about the whole U.S. residency process. I didn't know what USMLE tests are. I didn't know what to study. I didn't know about the application process, interview process, and I was very fortunate that I got to know Kaplan, and with the help of their great advisors, I started familiarizing myself with the process and planning to take my steps. And I believe Kaplan team does a great job in providing information and resources to residency applicants they have the most updated resources for USMLE exams and they have great lectures, they have great seminars about the US residency, SOAP, interview process and etc. And they have great advisors that help students uh, in their study schedules and most importantly it's the environment. That environment helped me a lot in preparing for my USMLE exams. Um, now that I look back at the whole journey and after talking to many other uh, U.S. applicants that matched this year or the past years, I'm very confident in saying that uh, the single most important factor in order to succeed in U.S. residency is um, USMLE scores, no matter what specialty you are applying to, uh, you have to have great scores in order to be considered as a competitive applicant. But unfortunately, USMLE exams are not easy because in order to get high scores, you have to build a strong foundation of medicine. And for us IMGs, we've been out of school for many years and the last time we studied for biochemistry, immunology, physiology has been a long time ago. Uh, so it's, it's tough to recall everything. And in order to um, study for USMLE exams, you have to spend time and study has to be consistent. And unfortunately, there's, there are a lot of distractions out there. And everybody has personal issues, family issues, many other issues that easily can distract you from studying. And it's not easy to focus on what you're doing. And in, it's really good to uh, surround yourself with people who are of the same background and they have the same goals. They're studying, they're doing the same thing. They're studying for the USMLEs. And that's a great motivation and if I want to give a few words of advice to my um, fellow applicants, uh, I would say, first of all, stay positive. The whole process might seem tough, but there are a few steps that you have to take. If you work hard and if you have a positive attitude, you'll get what you want. But you have to stay focused and don't let anything distract you from what you're, what, you, what you're doing and what you want to achieve. I always tell my friends to take each step at a time. When you start preparing yourself for the U.S. residency, there are many steps that you have to take, but I always tell my friends to take one step at a time. When I was studying for my step one, I never thought of step two and so on. And when I was doing research, I never thought of interview process. I took each step at a time and I always have a positive outlook. And I wish you all great luck and enjoy the process.